Hey guys, it's Tarun Verma with Telfair Specialty Pharmacy and welcome to Meds Made Easy. Today we're going to talk about metformin, also known as glucophage, Fortimet, Glumetza, uh, probably a whole bunch of other names, but metformin is the most common one because it's a drug that's been around forever. It is to lower blood sugar for type 2 diabetics. It is usually what we call first line therapy. When you first get diagnosed with diabetes, as long as it's not we didn't catch it too late in the process, you'll always get started on metformin. It is just the gold standard of insulin, of not insulin, sorry, uh, diabetes therapy. It's just your first line. Uh, of course, if you are diabetic, then you know you will be on a lot more medications that we're gonna stack onto it, but the first one is almost always metformin. So, how does it work? The official definition, let me read it off because is a lot. It decreases hepatic glucose production, uh, decreases intestinal absorption of glucose, and improves insulin sensitivity. This is made, made easy. We're not supposed to go into all that jazz and give it to you like that. So let me break this down. Okay, so you have to first kind of understand uh, diabetes and what that does to your body. Now, I'll do a whole nother video later where we talk about all kinds of, of we talk about the diabetic uh, disease state and we talk about the different medications and how we attack treatment because it's changed a lot. There's the old way to treat uh, diabetes, which is treat the number, and then the new age uh, treatment for it is to treat the disease state to understand what's going on inside your body. But essentially, it's your pancreas wearing down because of all, uh, either due to genetics or due to a high diet in you know sugar or a lot of sugar being consumed over time. Your pancreas just isn't able to produce insulin. Now, whenever you eat a bunch of sugar, you can't let it run free in your blood for very long because it'll actually damage things. That's why people with, di with diabetes have nerve pain you know, in their feet or in their hands. So um, insulin is released by your pancreas to store the glucose into your body as fat and not let it run around in your blood being crazy. So over time though, your pancreas, like any organ, like anything else, wears down. It wears down making all this insulin. So uh, what we have to do, which is why diabetics, you know, you obviously have to control your sugar, but at the same time we give you meds to maximize what your body can do. So once you become diabetic, diabetic and you're in that diabetic disease state, it, your pancreas is officially at a point where it's not at 100%. And it's slowly going to dwindle, 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 dwindle down until it doesn't function anymore. And when it doesn't function anymore, you start taking insulin. Okay, I went way too much into that, but let, let's back right up into metformin. So what does metformin do? Over time, your sensors in your body, whenever they detect uh, too much sugar, they let your pancreas know and go, hey, hey, pancreas, release insulin. There's way too much sugar running around. It's kind of like kids at a park. It's like, okay, too many kids running around. We need to calm down, okay? That's kind of what happens here. And so uh, your pancreas then squeezes a whole bunch of insulin out to take care of all of that sugar. Now, over time, your body goes, man, there's just way too much sugar. What we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the threshold, meaning that back in the day, if you know this much, this much sugar running around in your blood caused insulin to get released, it's we're gonna increase it to this much now because there's just too much sugar all the time in the system. We can't produce this much insulin, so we're gonna raise the limit, and that's not good because that just means that's that's just more sugar running around in your body doing damage. So. What uh, metformin does is it decreases that threshold again so that now when that, that little, bit, little bit amount of sugar gets into your body and it hits that amount, your body goes, hey, hey, pancreas, do your thing, get us some insulin so we can take care of this. And that's what metformin does in, in its most basic, most um, effective form. Uh, yes, it does decrease intestinal absorption of glucose, meaning in your intestines, you, that's where you know where whenever you eat, all your nutrients and stuff get absorbed from all the food you eat in your intestines. This prevents the sugar from getting absorbed, or at least as much as it can, decreases the amount of sugar that gets absorbed into your bloodstream. So, and then decreases hepatic glucose production again. Your body can also make glucose. So say you're some one of those people who don't t eat a lot of sugar, you do need some glucose in your body it'll break down your fat and use that as glucose. Um, and so what it'll do is it'll prevent your body from actually breaking down the fat and making glucose because it's going, hey, your body already has enough sugar in its body or it's, it's already been through enough. Uh, we don't want more sugar running around or sugar is the same thing as glucose, by the way. I'm so sorry, I should have made sure that uh, we were clear on that. Glucose is the same thing as sugar. Glucose is just the medical term for it. 
Uh, and so we, we want to make sure that there's not too much glucose running around in your body, free glucose. So beyond that, uh, there is a black box warning um, for lactic acidosis. Um, I have spent so much time researching this on how to explain it the best way possible, and I can't. I just can't. It is very complicated. There's no easy way to explain lactic acidosis, so I'm just going to say, go talk to your doctor about it. Um, your doctor should already be monitoring your levels anyway to make sure if something like this happens. Um, but people who have liver issues, this is linked to lac uh, lactic acidosis. And so this is one of those things that you just want to make sure you're going into the doctor's office regularly, getting checked up so we can just kind of prevent this because it kind of, uh, it's a metabolic disorder. Uh, that can kind of come out of nowhere or can kind of build up over time and the symptoms slowly come on and it, 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 but there's a black box warning for it that a lot of people have been hurt by it um, and this medication has been involved in kind of help accelerating that but please talk to your doctor they can give you a lot more information and hopefully they can break it down because it is it is not an easy thing to explain it's very very complicated it, it requires me to go into the Krebs cycle and the ATP process I, I don't I don't want to get into that that's just too complicated um, but talk to your local pharmacist, your local doctor about that. Um, also, same thing with liver issues. So, so same thing with liver and people with renal issues. If you're on dialysis, metformin is something that needs to be its dose needs to be adjusted based off of if you're on dialysis or what your renal function is. If it's not 100% anymore, um, so watch out for that. Uh, as far as side effects goes, it's a very benign medication. It's very easy to take, and. Really, the only thing you want to watch out for is stomach issues. So first of all, let's get into how to take it. Uh, let me rewind for just a second. You take it with food all the time. There's so many different ways to take it, so I'm not going to go into how necessarily. It can be dosed one, two, three times a day, depending on uh, the extended release formulations, immediate formulations. But uh, the side effects are all kind of the similar, are all kind of the same. It's a lot of uh, stomach issues, uh, nausea, vomiting. Um, in a very small amount of population, and it is kind of common to see, you will always kind of get like a mild form of diarrhea while you're on the medication. And if that happens to you, then we need to, you know, switch you onto a different formulation or maybe just take you off of metformin in general. Most of the time, most people can tolerate the mild diarrhea. Um, it's just maybe like an extra bowel movement a day. So I don't want to say diarrhea necessarily. It's just another bowel movement. And so um, the, the drug works great except for, you know, these, these sort of stomach issues. So if that's an issue, let your doctor know. Um, flatulence is another big issue, uh, which is a fancy word for farting. So if you fart a lot, then, you know, let your doctor know if it bothers you. If this stuff doesn't bother you, I have a lot of patients who go, hey man, this is really controlling my blood sugar. I'm going to go ahead and just like, you know, be okay with these minor side effects. The side effects aren't major or anything. You know, the, the extra gas, you know, that happened if you eat a, you know, you eat a whole bowl full of chili one night, same sort of thing. You know, it's not like way worse than that. So um, if you can tolerate it, it's a great drug to take. Again, it's a gold standard for uh, type two diabetes uh, therapy. Um, but if you can't just let your doctor know and nausea and vomiting, though those kind of same stomach issues that a lot of medications have that those are kind of common with this medication too. Uh, beyond that, I think that kind of takes care of the 101 of what you should know of metformin. Um, again, it's diabetes is something that is very close to me. Um, so I always go out of my way to kind of make sure that people understand diabetes because it's very common and it's very complicated. And you want people to really understand it because there's a whole lifestyle change that's involved in it. And so we'll go through all that in a different video, but just make sure you're educated if you are diabetic and you do keep up with everything that you should when it comes to diet, exercise, and even the medications. And that's what we here at Telfer Specialty Pharmacy are going to help you with. So again, thank you guys for tuning in. Please subscribe, leave comments below. And as always, if you have any questions, please go to your doctor and your pharmacist. They're great tools of resources. And then of course, give us a call here at Telfer Specialty Pharmacy if you wanna chop it up and you want to sit down and have a really great in-depth conversation about diabetes or just this medication alone or any medication in general. We'd love to help. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll see you next time.